we must ensure that as a nation, as a police department, working in conjunction with the police defense force, that we do what we can along our borders to be able to prevent these um, illegal migrants from coming over into our country and uh, continue their criminal activities. And so, yes, we have been on high alert um, since the new measures were implemented in Salvador, and we have since detained a number of these um, gang members from Salvador. Um, they have been charged by immigration. They are in prison, remanded, or it's serving sentence. And uh, we're hoping that whenever their sentence is over, that we should be able to return them back to their respective countries. So it is something we're dealing with as a country, and we're working in conjunction with the BDF and the Immigration Department to make sure that we address this as quickly as we possibly can, so that they don't think that Belize can be a safe haven for them. We cannot. We have enough problems at home, and we cannot carry the burdens of other countries within our um, within our country. So we must do our best to 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 um, to make sure that they don't see us or see our country as a safe haven for them. Belize has porous borders. Do you expect that more will be caught in the country here? Well, certainly we do expect that they will. They, that there are more in the country and more will come. And that's the reason why we have asked the, the, the assistance of the public to report any persons who they believe may be a member of the MS-13. And uh, even if it is that the person they report is not, it is always best to err on the side of caution. We will go and check the person out and see who they are. And if they're not members of MS-13, they're Belizeans and these are, we want to release them from custody. But if they are MS-13 or persons who are here illegally, then we will do what needs to be done to ensure that corrective measures are taken.